Next I'm going to demonstrate a relatively simple assessment of the cervical spine with a follow-on treatment with a spinal manipulation. As an osteopath I would call it a high velocity thrust, low amplitude, so it means it's very fast but the distance is very small. And if you're a physiotherapist you might call it a grade 5 mobilization, but it's actually known as a grade 5 manipulation. Now, when I come onto the neck, my fingers are onto the articular pillars coming down here. And then I tend to gently side bend to see if the facets on the right are opening or the facets on the right are closing by side bending. And the same with my fingers on the opposite side. So I tend to do a side bending movement and I also do a side shift movement or lateral glide. It's almost like a motion testing to see what wants to happen. I can also adjust the position of the C-spine into extension because, for instance, if the facets didn't want to open, then you might find by encouraging the movement of extension, we encourage the joints to close. And if we are in flexion, then we are encouraging the joints to open. So it depends on what you feel is appropriate on the assessment. And as I glide side to side, I can ascertain the left side is a bit restricted. And I think it's the facet doesn't want to open on that left side. I can also rotate the neck and she is re re restricted, especially this way. And if I was to flex her neck and rotate, she's still blocking at end range there. So it still tells me that C1 is restricted on, on C2. And if I was to look at a spine, then this is the C1 transverse process. And the C1 and C2, this is the atlas on the axis. So I'm going to look at the movement here because when we rotate, 50% of motion occurs from C1 on C2 because it sits on the C2 odontoid peg and it has that rotation. And by flexing, we lock the ligament from C2 to 7, so the only joint that can move is C1 on 2, and that's why I would do that test. Before we do any form of manipulation, especially to the upper part of the cervical complex, it is important that we would have done a VBI test. And that means that we test the vertebral basilar artery. And we would have done that prior to the treatment, and we would simply extend side bend, so I would extend, and I would rotate, and side bend, and I would hold it in that position for 30 seconds. Obviously, if it is a, a C-spine pathology, be careful on that movement. Just open your eyes for a sec. And if your eyes are starting to flicker within 30 seconds or so, then you wouldn't perform this technique. I do feel I'm very safe when I adjust the neck because I've used a pillow, and I do want to take my patient into flexion. So sometimes I'll bring the pillow back a little bit. You'll see why, because I will bring the pillow under, so it allows my fingers to come under here. This is to the articular pillar. I'm going to use my MCP joint. And what I'm going to do is induce a type 1 mechanics into the neck. So I'm going to side bend to the right and induce a rotation to the left until I feel a bind. There's the bind just there. So I'm going to feel that. And then when I feel ready, I could use a breathing technique. I could use an MET. The patient could contract for a few seconds and relax and come that way. Especially if you're slightly nervous. If I come in this position there, so I'm going to feel the lock, you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a very gentle mobilizing into a manipulation there. There's the lock, mm. and there's the adjustment. And that's the right side. I do think the left side is a little stiffer, and it probably would make more of, an, of a cavitation. So let me just do this left side. So the same technique again. I'm going to side bend to the left, and I'm going to do some rotation until I feel there's a lock. I'm just going to play around with these vectors there. Okay, there's the bind, there's the lock. And I'm just going to adjust, adjust the top part of our joint. Now when I go back to the side bending, it feels a lot better in terms of opening and closing. And if I was to rotate, she's still a little stiff at the end. Okay, but hopefully the movement feels better for the patient. And there you have a manipulation on the C1 and C2, and it was a HVT technique.